Hey Adventure Seekers, it's Ryan from Seeking Adventure Supply. Uh, we're here today with our new Turtleback trailer. Uh, this is an expedition. Um, it has some features in it that uh, we requested from Turtleback. And I wanted to kind of go through a general adventure trailer, what that consists of, as well as kind of talk about some of the added features that we have on this particular trailer. So uh, here in the tongue box, we have two lithium batteries. Uh, a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, as well as our storage for our non, I wouldn't call them non-essential, but uh, the gear that you really don't have a place for. Our portable toilet, um, our scuttle lives up here, our extension cords, solar panel charging cords, things of that nature. Um, on the trailer we have a walkabout 72 here. Um, we like the size of this tent, it's for Libby and I. Um, it's really a California king size mattress, which is similar to what we have at home. So tons of room, very comfortable. Um, inside of the trailer here, we have uh, a ton of storage. And this allows us to keep uh, gear other than what we would keep in the tongue box. So um, it's going to be our chairs, our sidekicks, our surf grass mats, our grand grabber screws, um, we do at times take a small generator, um, mainly when we're doing shows and things like that. The trailer has a molly panel system on the insides of the doors now, which allows us to store a lot of uh, gear out of the way, uh, but still easily accessible. Um, our perfect tie downs, we keep those for the awning and the tent stored right in here. Our Unilights four pack stay stored right in here. We keep our Revel gear lights in there, our shower tube, and I'm not sure what was in this one. Oh, our hardcore light cords are in that in that particular pack right there. Um, so the Molly panels really add to the amount of gear you can keep readily accessible without having to dig through the main pass through. Um, let's move in here to the side panel. So this is where you're going to see probably the most. Uh, change that we requested, which is the Red Arc Red Vision system. This system here gives us complete visibility to what's going on with our batteries, as well as where our charging is and where it's coming from. So if it's shore power, solar, uh, vehicle charging, all that's going to, it's going to tell us here on the screen. It'll also show us our state of charge. So we can see that we're at 100% charge right now. Um, one of the really cool features of the Red Arc is it actually shows us our water tank level. So from this screen, I can see that I've got 50% of my tank is full right now. Um, it beats the traditional looking through the side of the storage compartment and looking at the water level or through the rear of the trailer. Um, we also have converted over, we have some of the PowerWorks uh, quick charge USB-C and USB 3.0 quick charge ports there. So we can charge our phone up off the lithium batteries. A full iPhone, you know, around 20% will be fully charged 100% in about 30 minutes. So it's a huge improvement. Um, this is kind of where we keep our general purpose items that we use on a regular basis. Our uh, 230 universal uh, lantern hooks are in here. Um, we see a, another Unilite there. We've got our boot bags in here, our spring rods for the tent. Um, as well as some extra Covea canisters for our Covea space heater. Um, this is the control panel for the Xantrax, which is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, it has ports on the rear of the trailer. So to access the 110, we don't always have to be running cords to the tongue box. Moving around. So in this area, if you're familiar with turtlebacks in general, their kitchen area is really well laid out. Uh, we don't have that table folded down right now, but that does fold down to create a, an additional counter space is kind of what I call it. Um, they do have a spice rack, as you can see, we have not filled it yet, um, but they've got a Cook Partner uh, 10,000 BTU burner stove there. Um, really puts out a nice adjustable heat it makes cooking really easy on the turtle back. Um, one of their new features is the Guzzle H2O system, which allows you to actually filter water from the main tank uh, for drinking purposes. So you don't have to be as dependent on cleaning, filling from a clean source. 
because now your drinking water will get filtered at the time that you fill your cup. Um, the only other changes back here would be we have them add in some Baja Design Squadrons um, for reverse lights and or chase lights. Uh, if you got somebody following you on a dusty gravel road, these come in very handy. And this is that 110 port that I talked about. So it allows us to access the 2000 watt sign inverter from back here if we have a device or something set on the table.